Center. totalitarian country. Maybe I could understand some of these illegal injunctions. Maybe I could understand the denial of certain basic First Amendment privileges because they haven't committed themselves to that over there. But somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly. Somewhere I read of the freedom of speech, yes. somewhere I read, yes. of the freedom of press, yes. somewhere I read, yes. that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. Yes. And so just as I say we aren't going to let any dogs or water hoses turn us around, we aren't going to let any injunction turn us around. Well, I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now. Because I've been to the mountaintop. I don't mind. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. What do you think it means? Don't worry about her. She can't get through. Keep going. Keep walking. Keep walking.
Shut it down. In November 1938, we had uh, the very infamous Reichskristallnacht, the night of broken glass. All over Germany, the Jewish stores were destroyed, the synagogues were burning, and the merchandise laid in the gutter. When I came home, my mother was upset. She said, where have you been? This is late. My gosh, you never came that late. And, and then I said, oh, mom, it, it is terrible. And then I started crying. And my mom said, what happened? So I told her. I said, why? What, what, what is wrong? And my mom said to me, this is from now on most likely our life, so you better forget it. I could not forget it.
I say to that? Mm -hmm. There are some who advocate anarchy, however, not because they want no government, but because they don't like what they have. They use anarchy as a tool for revolutionary change. The condition of anarchy is very much like a vacuum where something rushes in to fill it. These calculating anarchists work to break down the existing government with rioting, killing, looting, and terrorism. Tragically, the people living in such chaos often go to those best able to put an end to it and beg them to take over and restore order. And who is best able to put an end to the chaos? The very people who started it. The anarchists who created the problem then create a government run by them, an oligarchy, where they have total power. This is exactly what happened in Russia that led to Lenin taking total power, and in Germany where Hitler's brown shirts created the chaos that brought him to power. But anarchy isn't a stable form of government. It's a quick transition from something that exists to something desired by the power hungry. It's a temporary condition, and because it isn't permanent, we eliminate it as well. What can men do against such reckless hate? Ninety-nine dreams I have had Everyone who read the loop It's all over and I'm standing